Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at how to work with three-dimensional models such as this 3D step file in MakeCaraCam to create a 3D drilling toolpath. Now, whenever you have holes in your design, like these holes that you see here, you can machine them using your desktop CNC like the Carvera and Carvera Air in one of two ways. You could choose to create a pocket operation or contour operation which will actually mill these holes using a milling bit such as a single flute end mill, or you can choose to create a drilling operation which will perform a drilling motion with your CNC mill using a drill bit. Now that's a really handy feature to do and a very common feature to do whenever you're clearing out holes like this. So let's dive in and see how. To create a 3D drilling operation, you need to be working with a 3D step file, such as this one, as a step file will allow you to select the individual faces within your design. If you're working with something like a 3D relief, you can't select the individual faces, so it's difficult to create a 3D drilling operation, but you can always use the create feature to create circle graphics within your design, and that could be used to create a hole on any file type, as we look at in some of our other videos. So using this example part from our LED light project, let's drill these four holes. I'm gonna click 3D drilling to open up a 3D drilling operation from my 3D toolpaths menu. And the first thing we need to do is select our holes. And to do this, you're simply going to select the bottom of your hole. And if you hold shift on your keyboard, you can select more than one hole at a time like this. So with the bottom of each hole selected, I can now set the cutting parameters to drill these holes. I can choose to set the drill tip start depth if I don't wanna start at the surface of my stock. So zero will be drilling from the surface, but you can choose to start above and below the stock. And then the drill tip end depth is set automatically based upon your selection. You'll see that multiple is listed here because there's multiple holes. And if these holes were all different depths, MakeCaraCam would automatically drill to the set depth of each individual hole. Now these holes are all the same, so MakeCaraCam is going to automatically find the bottom of these holes and drill specifically to that point. But if I enable a depth offset, I can choose to drill past the hole depth. So for example, this will default take the drill tip right to the bottom of the hole. If I wanted to actually let the drill tip pass through the bottom of my hole, so that way the entirety of the hole from top to bottom is the diameter of the drill, I could choose to offset this by say 0.1 mil, and that would be the offset for each hole that you've selected. If you want to offset your holes to be different depths, you would have to create different drilling tool paths for individual offsets per hole. Next, we have our safe positions, which are your clearance heights for moving around. And you could typically leave this as the default unless you were working around any jigs, fixtures, or clamps, or things that you might have on your bed. And then we can select our tool. And when performing drilling operations, it's very important that you select a drilling tool. And you can select the bit that's the correct size based upon the hole that you want to create within your designs. For example, this two millimeter drill bit that I have here, and you'll see that the tool properties are already set to be plastic based upon the stock selection that I made earlier when creating my project file. The feeds and speeds will automatically be set based upon whatever stock material that you're working on, but it's very easy to manually change the feeds and speeds if you'd like here. One thing that you might wanna consider is the step down, and that's how much material is removed each pass that the drill bit makes, of course, unless you have a retract enabled, which we'll talk about later. You can also reassign your tool number. So for example, if you have the tool loaded in a specific slot within the Carvera's automatic tool changer, or just to ensure that this tool isn't assigned to the same number as another tool that you might be using with your Carvera or Carvera Air. A really important thing to consider whenever creating a drilling operation is a retract or peck drilling function. No retract means that the bit will just pass straight down into the stock until it gets to the bottom of the hole continuously from start to finish. That is fine to do when you're working with soft materials like woods or soft plastics, but if you're working with harder materials like metal, plunging straight into your material will typically break your bit. So instead, you want to enable one of the different types of retracts. Fixed Z height will automatically retract your bit to a set Z height position each step down pass. So with my step down set to be one millimeter, after the drill passes down one millimeter, it will then retract to a height of one millimeter Relative retract will retract the set distance based upon wherever the bit is currently located. So after each step down pass, it will then retract the relative distance. And what this does is it allows for not only a more gradual drilling operation to take place where you won't break your bits, but also allows chips to evacuate as you're drilling, which will reduce the strain and heat within your drilling operations too. Once you have your retract, your feeds and your speed set, you can calculate 
And you'll notice that you have a small toolpath drawn that follows within each hole for the drilling operation. This is very similar to how you create a 2D drilling operation using a 2D design file, which we look at in our other tutorials and guides. And this is also the first step to, for creating thread milling operations, which we also look at in another tutorial and guide. Thanks for watching, and of course, please stay tuned for more on the Make Care channel and Wikisite.